damn, that sounds good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so the Acura Integra Type S is on its way, coming soon. They haven't really showed the whole car yet, so we've just been getting teases and a little bit of a tease here and there. That's fine, though. We like those little teases. I'm not going to lie. So, supposedly, the Acura is going to be more powerful than the Civic Type R. And it's going to be just as elusive to purchase as the Civic Type R. Let's get into it. Let's go. All right, so here we go. So 2024 Acura Integra Type S debuts in April with more power than the Civic Type R. And to be completely honest, it makes sense because the Acura is going to weigh a little more than the Civic Type R because of all the luxury and parts that it's in the car, like leather seats. Type R don't have leather seats, man. It's not made for comfort. It's made to drive. And this is going to be made for to drive too, but a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> so, getting straight to the point, the 2024 Acura Integra Type S will produce 320 horsepower. 320. But that is just only 10 more than the Civic Type R. I think the Civic Type R is a 310. <clears throat> so, here we go. And 310 foot-pounds of torque. Damn, okay. Uh, Two-liter uh, VTEC four-cylinder engine. This makes slightly more power than the U.S. version of closely related Honda Civic Type R, which makes 315. And what's the torque? It doesn't say. And the same amount of torque, obviously. Power sent to the front axle exclusively through a six-speed manual gearbox, which is mwah, mwah, chef's kiss. Gotta love the manual. If you don't know how to drive a manual, you should learn. It is a very amazing experience. Just letting you know that. Automatic, it's for lazy people. You know, you just put it on D and you're good to go. But stick shift, driving a stick, requires a little bit of a thinking, just a tad bit. But once you learn it, it's going to be like second nature. You're just doing it without even looking down, nothing. You're just looking at the road. You're shifting, man. It's easy once you learn it. And it's. I feel like it's it's more engaging than, you know, having to just put it on drive and having those pedal shifters. It's not the same. Now, the only time I would argue with anybody that sticks shouldn't be included are like supercars, hypercars, and those kind of vehicles that you need those fast transmission. Now, that to me makes a little bit more sense for those cars to be automatic or DCT or whatever um, system that they have. But when it comes to just regular sports cars, when we're talking about the the FRSs of the world, the Nissan Zs of the world, the Civic Type R, you know, as well as this vehicle, manual transmission is the way it is. WRXs, almost forgot about WRX, WRX and Mazdas as well, you know. Like those cars are really, really fun to drive. And the fact that Honda and certain other manufacturers continues to push out these manual transmission vehicles, it's been making me, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it, it, it makes me happy because I don't want to lose the manual transmission because manual transmission is just part of our history. I don't know. That's where it all started, to be honest. And in other parts of the world, like European Manual transmission, it's huge there. They even have manual transmission on police cars, manual transmissions on freaking uh, ambulances. It's crazy, right? Wow. It's, it's amazing. But here, I guess we just like conveniences. And yeah, I don't know why we went on this whole rant about manual transmission when we're talking about the new Acura Integra, but whatever. So... The performance flagship of the Integra lineup will debut on April ahead of Honda, ahead of uh, Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach, which is scheduled for April 14th to the 16th. And um, I can't wait to see it. Um, and the fact that I like that little, you know, comparing to the Type R where the Type R has the big wing. I like that it, this one is just more subtle because they're trying to attract different kind of buyers. You know what I mean? Um, with the Type R, you attract the... Uh, <laughs> Me. That's what you attract. You attract me. Um, you know, those people that are <laughs> that are uh, hardcore enthusiasts and stuff like that. With the, I feel like with the Integra, they're trying to get a, uh, a different kind of enthusiast, I, I guess. But 
I cannot wait to see this car on the road. I cannot wait to see how well it, you know, how well it, it, it compares to its brother, the Civic Type R. Um, if I had the money, yeah, even though the, the styling is meh, mid at best, I still would purchase this vehicle to have it next to my Civic Type R. It, it's nice. <sighs> but I wish that Honda would bring back those old days of screaming VTEX because I really miss it. I really, really miss VTEC. Even on my Type R, supposedly it has VTEC, but it's on the exhaust side. Um, so you don't hear it like transitioning over where the cam switch, you know. Mm. Mm. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of the Acura Integra. Got that little tease, got that little soundtrack as well, too. You know what? Let me go ahead and play the... Um, the video for you guys here. Uh, give you one second here. All right, so I'm gonna play this for you guys and then I'm gonna head out because that's what was playing in the background. Let's see if we can see a little bit more here. Can we see just a little bit more? But let me go ahead and unmute that sound right here. So this one looks like the, uh, looks like a Phoenix yellow. If you know anything about Acuras, so this looks like a Phoenix yellow, Phoenix yellow Acura. Let me see. Let's go back again. Go back. Go back. Go back. Let's see. Can we just settings? Let's see. Video play. Let's go ahead and. Uh... But um, one thing I know, the color is definitely looks like Phoenix Yellow, or that can be a different version of the yellow. But yeah, maybe it's the lighting and everything, but you guys let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe too, alright? It's free.